Today. How are you going? Um, yeah, not too bad actually. Yeah. I just hate I hate moving so much. Like it's exciting, but at the same time, I hate packing things away and then having to reorganize them at the new place. I like the reorganizing part. Do you? Yeah. Look, gonna be honest, I was so close to not filming this. This is day two of our packing experience. I don't want to start this vlog on a negative note, but let's just say Fox, our gorgeous little almost 17-month-old toddler, is going through the worst sleep regression we've ever experienced. <laughs> Long story short, it means he's super clingy, really high maintenance, loves a good tantrum, and doesn't sleep. So last night, I reckon we got like three hours sleep. Yeah, we are tired. Is it really a packing vlog if you don't look kind of disgusting? You meant no. to. No, yeah, right? It's all about Can you imagine? Take, take away food and looking gross. <laughs> so I'm with this guy. The reason that I actually am vlogging, because number one, I love packing vlogs. I love watching them so much. And I was just on Insta Story, and I did a little Insta Story saying, guys, I'm like really tired and I'm in a bad mood today, so I'm not gonna vlog. And everyone was like, no, we don't care, like just vlog, just vlog. And I was like, you know what? It's time to suck it up and I'm going to film a packing vlog. Let me show you what I've done so far. As you saw, that main bathroom, that's done. I've done all these random top cupboards because my wardrobe doesn't really make sense in this house, so I'm excited to move and make it make sense and be more like a retail store because up there was all of my handbags, which I couldn't see. Everything's really messy, but there's method to the madness. I've culled this whole section, so this is just the stuff that I use Use, like throughout the week and done here so I've done like all the main stuff it's Sunday today and the removalists are coming on Thursday but we need to work quick because Fox is currently at the park with Kurt's sister auntie Nessie so we're just trying to like hustle as quick as we can while he's not here everything here on the table pretty much everything is a giveaway pile whoever comes over I'm like take something from the pile these are the boxes that we've done so far pretty much what we got done yesterday Kurt's tackling the office because it is most of his stuff and Kurt kind of makes the decisions of like what cameras we keep, what ones we give away, what ones we sell. So this is his domain. Anyway, back to business. I'm also being super cutthroat. Like if I've got two shirts that I like, one in gray, one in white, I'm like pretty much keeping one. I'm trying to adopt more of a minimalist approach. Speaking of, I really want to interview a full on minimalist for The Health Code. The Health Code is our podcast. If you don't follow it, we're on Spotify, iTunes, every podcast platform. So it's here on Instagram as well. So I really want to interview a minimalist. Those people, they have like one mug, one spoon, one fork, one jumper. A girl can dream. So I'm going through my pants right now. It's pretty easy because I'm like a serial spring cleaner. I clean out my wardrobe literally every few weeks. For the sake of these packing vlogs, what everyone loves about these vlogs is like the therapeutic or like satisfying view of a time lapse. Like packing, getting clean, getting organized. So cue the ultimate time lapse. Sorry, I interrupt this time lapse to just make the announcement that there's gonna be a few little things scattered here and there that are like left on the shelf because like I said, it's Sunday today, the removalist truck, whatever, the moving truck doesn't come until Thursday. So I kind of have to have clean clothes. I just remembered last time I packed up our whole mini beach apartment for this apartment, I forgot to do that and I had no clean clothes for like four days. So this time, as long as I have like some tights, crops and like hoodies, then I could just live in that for the next few days. But that's why these little jeans, they're staying there. Let's continue with the time lapse. remember the last time I wore a leather skirt but I don't know if you can tell I can't part with this I bought this like seven years ago when I used to work in retail I was like the 2IC or like the assistant manager for this like boutique store and I love it I love it so much and I, I never wear it but I'll probably never get rid of it let's continue <laughs>
you most excited for? I'm most excited for the gym. Yes. And the office. Yeah. I'm just excited to have something to do or somewhere to go when mm. Fox is napping because like Fox naps. Normally when he's not in his sleep regression, he usually naps for like two hours. So at the new house, we can like train in the gym. I can go to the Pilates room. Mm. I can go upstairs. I can sit in the sun. And I can sit in the sun in the backyard. <gasps> oh, I want a backyard so bad. I'm so, I, I get a clothes line. At the moment, I shrink all of our clothes because I just use the dryer for everything. But now that we have a backyard, we're gonna have a clothes line. <laughs> Here comes the Foxinator. The Abby girl's getting more pumped up. straight away in the car. He's ready. You know this. <laughs> hey! Ready? 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 <laughs> when you don't have a gym, bring the gym to you. Your very own weight. It's time to get shredded with a toddler. <laughs> Woo! Was that fun, Mr. <laughs> Box! Go! Bah, 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 bah. Get daddy! Oh. 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 Cover your face, protect your face always. <laughs> this is why our packing is so slow because we just procrastinate and we stop like every and five pick minutes. Pick on Fox slash play with Fox. Fox, go, go, go. So it's a little past two o'clock and we're doing well so far, but it's like that awkward transitional period of not moving for four days. So I don't know what to pack. I don't want to like regret putting something in a box that I need. We're all going to have a little break. Kurt needed to go to Bunnings to get us new boxes and I want to go and see if I can buy those vacuum packs, you know, like those plastic bags that you can vacuum seal like your winter clothes and even like my pregnancy clothes and Fox's baby clothes. Do you feel like we're on track or how do you feel? Um, I think we're, I think we're doing all right. What do you reckon? Yeah. Most of the stuff's clothes. Mm. And then I've got the garage, which I'll just do myself. But I've so. still got to go through all of Fox's stuff. It's got like, heaps of books. Yeah. We... And like his wife. Uh, all right, let's go, Fox. Let's go. Welcome to day four. I'm pretty sure it's day four of packing and we've recruited some help. We've got Jai. <laughs> I think we've given ourselves too many days to pack. So we've just had to like live amongst this mess and I can't wait. So tomorrow is move day. I think tomorrow the removalists come at 8 a.m. There's still a lot to do, but we're making good progress. Jai is on kitchen. Kurt is on games. I'm on random like trinket things and like crystals, you know, like the random stuff, like vases. Fox is on making an, more of a mess than there already is. All right, let's keep going. I interrupt this program for a quick word from our friend, coffee. Come into this room, Fox's room, and I find two slackers laying in bed, not doing anything. The heck are you two doing? Oh, we're tired. You're not meant to be in his bed. It's not meant <laughs> well, for an adult. I just don't... Oh, shush. I don't want two of you. One's enough. What is she doing? Is she acting like a baby? <laughs> look. Look what Jai did. Yeah, Jai did all that. Well done, mate. No. Good stuff, hey, Jai. Hey, hey, hey. Good stuff, Jai. <laughs> You've been out having a great old day, just chilling. Are you kidding? Yep. You said we were going to tag team. Yeah, no, actually, Sarah had to look after Fox. Because <laughs> look at this kid. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we get nothing done around here. <laughs> kidding? <laughs> all right, I'm going to get something done. Goodbye. 
I've just been in Fox's room packing, watching YouTube because I'm just like not in the mood for music. But I kind of had this like lapse in memory and I forgot we were moving. I've put all these loads of laundry on, but the washing machine and dryer have to be taken in the morning. So I'm gonna have to make sure I get all my laundry done because I don't really want to take like dirty clothes to the new house and like have all this work to do. But I'm in Fox's room. There's so much to pack. There's just like a bunch of his newborn stuff that has actually been packed for a while because we've had this house for like nearly a year. I just kept saying, don't pack it away. We'll put it to the new house. And we just didn't realize the renovation was gonna take that long. So this is all his newborn stuff that needs to go into storage. I've packed up all of his clothes. It's so crazy this is bare right now because it honestly feels like just last week that I was putting it all together when I was pregnant and I was so excited for him to come into the world. And now, we're moving into a new house. If you have been watching my channel for a while, you might remember my first ever dining table. It was like that raw timber leg with the marble kind of stone top. That's actually going to be our new podcast table. I've saved it all this time because I love it so much and I wanted to use it. The last removalist, they broke that table. We had to glue it back together. So I actually am a bit anxious and a bit nervous for tomorrow that they're going to break stuff like his cot or not that they mean to, but like things just happen and things get broken. And Kurt and Fox and Abby are out at the park and the sun is going down, so they're gonna be home any minute, so I need to get this whole section done so Fox can go to bed. I'm so tired. Me too. I can't even understand what you're saying. Stop knocking this. I'm delusional. Is this see it? It's annoying to them. Is that annoying you? Yeah, I know it is. <laughs> <laughs> you are welcome I'm to here. You're welcome to our coffee table because our dining table and our kitchen bench is both are both wow. Wow. Are both out um, of action. Out of out of action. Extremely. Extremely out of, out of action. action. So I thought we would do a little tiny mukbang. Yeah, mukki. Or a mukbang, whatever. Mukbang. Hey look at me on Fox. <laughs> Fox is in bed. He, he went Don't. down. Don't. Whenever you get tired, you get annoying. All right, let's put a poll on this. No. Right here. Is Kurt annoying? Yes. Yes or no? No. Simple. Hard yes. All right. I've never... <laughs> I have my periods. So I don't have the patience for Ooh, you. Ooh, cranky pants. Yes. All right. Well, you just got to... <laughs> You just get a, a punnet of olives? <laughs> First impressions, it's not very big and it's a salad. And for me to get full off a salad, it needs to be pretty hefty. Like you got 800 kilos worth of olives there. <laughs> exactly. Far out. Exactly. Do you want any salad with those olives? <laughs> You're going to be very disappointed know, when mine comes. Can you open it? I want to see the reveal first. Okay. Oh, that's depressing. <laughs> Too bad. I mean, it looks okay. I've got a but shredded it's just chicken. The size of it's depressing. It's pretty small. <gasps> That's cheese. It said it was gluten free, dairy free. I even wrote in it, please ensure it even had the gluten free, dairy free tick. All right, well, let me try these olives. Someone's Australia's. calling you. Is it Uber? Hello? Oh, okay, there'll be someone down there with it. It'll be safe. That's all right, I'll come down. All right. I'll come down. I'll be two seconds. The other family in the complex have a cavoodle and he's just downstairs going for a wee. So the Uber guy just called and said, I can't come in. There's a dog. <laughs> I get it. I used to be scared of dogs, so I get it. But he's like, the dog is so friendly. So anyway, Kurt actually wanted me to come on here and tell you guys a story about the cleaner who's cleaning our house at the moment, the industrial cleaner. So I'll wait till he gets back. I don't really think it's a very interesting story, but this is for him. Okay. So if it's boring, don't blame me, but like, we'll just let him have his time. You said you were being healthy. I am healthy, but I got these because I knew your dish would be crap. No, <laughs> Big, thick chips and two bunless burgers. Mm, I should have got. Heck yeah, you should have done it. I knew you'd, I knew you'd get it. I know, but I got it last week and I wanted something different. Onto this dumb story. No, it's a great story. It's so fabulous and I'm going to eat. But I'm not in a funny mood. No, yes, you are. You're always funny. <laughs> <laughs> Nice right. It was a lie. It was a joke. You got you got something in the middle. <laughs> no, keep picking. Really? No. no. <laughs> in our first ever apartment, which was like our beautiful little beach, tiny, tiny home, we got an end of lease clean and we never had a cleaner. And the end of lease clean was so awesome. And he was like, look, if you want us to follow you to this new place, we can totally clean your apartment like every week or whatever. And we were like, yeah, this is awesome. And they were so nice. So it, basically it's a family. And we got really tight with the cleaner and we got to kind of like talk about his family and his upbringing. And he was from Chile. And we were like, wow, that's awesome. Would you ever go back? And he's like, no, I don't think 
think so, whatever. So he would come to this apartment and he would clean it every week. He would do such a good job. He'd do our floors and like, he just like knew the timber and he knew the marble and he was like, you use this on this. And he was just so good. I was like, oh my gosh, like come every week, you're the best. And then like every other Tuesday, I was like, hey, are you cool to come at 9 a.m. tomorrow? See you then. I never got a message. Then he never came. And then I messaged him again saying like, hey, you didn't come on Wednesday. Like, what's the go? And then um, I didn't get a reply. I messaged one more time saying, hey, name. Not sure if you're getting my messages. That awkward message. Yeah, I said that. <laughs> Not sure if you're getting my messages, but like, I'd love for you to clean our apartment again. Radio silence. Radio silence for two years. We got stood up by our cleaner. Our house was that untidy. We got ghosted by our cleaner. And so I was like, oh my gosh, like, have we offended him in some way? Like, I don't know. And I was like, no, because the last time we saw him, pretty much, we gave him this coffee machine. We had this coffee machine that we weren't using. We gave it to him. We were friends with his daughter. And he, we, I was pregnant. And he was like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to see your baby. I was like, no, we were kept tight. asking me who the dad was. <laughs> 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 Valid question. So, so I was like, no, like we're tight. What is going on? We were like, maybe they went back to Chile and they didn't tell anyone. So I like built this whole conspiracy in my head. I was like, something's happened back at home. He's gone back to Chile and yeah. he can't get back over. Like, so anyway, yesterday we drive to the new house. One of our tradies says, hey, your house is getting clean today. I hooked you up with the best industrial cleaners. We're like, sick, love it. Clean it up. We rock up and Kurt says, oh my gosh, Sarah, look. I think the house is like falling apart or something because it's a Renault and everything keeps going wrong. I look in our front yard and there is my Chilean best <laughs> friend. I'm like, first of all, how the heck did you get back to Australia? Second of all, are you okay? Third of all, what's going on? So I storm up the front. I say, do you remember me? And he kind of looks at me for a second and he's like, what? And Kurt says, yeah, you used to clean our apartment. And he goes, oh my gosh, you never text me. I was like, <laughs> What? I was like, are you kidding? So I was like, he's ghosted me and now he feels bad. Like he's like, oh, I text you, never got it. I said, no. I'm gonna interrupt this program from a quick scratch from Abby. <laughs> I messaged you three times. He was like, no, he goes, you don't understand. Me and my family were heartbroken. We talk about it all the time saying that beautiful family. His, we his wanted daughter, to see their baby. His daughter watches the channel. Her, his and daughter <laughs> watches our channel. And, and she, she was like. update him on what's going on in our life. And he'd be like, don't talk to me about them. Yeah, he was like, don't talk to me about Sarah and Kurt because they ghosted me. I was like, you ghosted me. So anyway, so I was like adamant. I was like adamant that I messaged you and you dogged me. Anyway, he's like, he's like, prove it, prove it. I said, fine, I'll get my phone. Of course, I leave my phone at the apartment and I'm like patting myself over like a policeman in a, music, in, festival? a music festival getting patted down and my phone is nowhere. My phone's not in the car, my phone's not in my pocket, my phone's not in my bag, I left it in the apartment. He's like, oh, of course you left your phone at home. I was like, no, I did. So I rush home and I find the message, I screenshot all my messages to him saying, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you coming? I sent it to him. He literally sent me back one like an hour ago being like, I worked out what happened. I had a Samsung, blah, blah, blah. It came through as his message. I tried to send it back. Uh, I just, whatever. It was this big technological issue, but he thought that we ghosted him. So he like didn't want to hear about our life on YouTube. And now he's back in our life, lol. So he was at the house now cleaning, but Kurt thought it was a great story. It was, it was terrific. He when he's he standing out the front, we're like, no way. He's alive. <laughs> it's like when Simba's mom see Simba and she's like Simba <laughs> <laughs> anyway so that's the story of the day yeah how's your olives going salty <laughs> this is crap Just... I'm having a fabulous time have a bite nope because there's cheese in it <laughs> all right bye welcome to movie day the most chaotic day of the series. George is here. Hi! And originally she came and I was like, yeah, you can vlog us doing everything. And as soon as she got here, uh, we basically put her to work and you packing. started packing. Because like, <laughs> you think you've got it organized until you don't. Like until you realize you don't. But Georgia was just saying, oh, when you move into the new house, you need to do another declutter video. I just decluttered everything. <laughs> I know, but like there's so many more clothes. I know, I know. Like <laughs> if you're an OG subscriber, like you'll remember this. This is how I hid my pregnancy. I was pregnant. <laughs> No one knew, and I wore this everywhere. And like, it's very Where's Wally, but I can't part with it because it's so lazy and like beachy, yeah, lumpy, yeah, yeah. bougie. This, if you are truly an OG subscriber, you will remember this bad boy. This was like, I'm gonna, this was like, I'm gonna quit uni and become a YouTuber and. And a snake. <laughs>
and they can't part with her, so memories. Like, to my credit, I decluttered a lot, but um, I still have way too many clothes. And I'm actually considering, I haven't told you this, I'm considering getting a full on house organizer. Someone to come in and like organize my space with me because like, I need like a Marie Kondo. Mm. A Marie Kondo to be like, does it bring you joy? No, but this one does, so. <laughs> the plan of the day, so when the removalists came in, they're so quick. Like I had this idea that when they come, I could like pack a few things and they're like in and out so quick. So I'm kind of stressing, but we've made the executive decision that we're not gonna bring our bed because we're getting a king bed in the new house. So we're just gonna sleep on a mattress, woo! We're just gonna sleep on a mattress for like two weeks and leave the bed here for potentially my sister who might be renting this place from us. We still haven't decided. I've had a lot of questions about that, but we're keeping it in the fam and um, someone in my family is going to rent it. So many people around it too. I just need to find some friends now. <laughs> <sighs> what a week. What a full on five days. I think I'm going to wrap up this vlog here because like otherwise this is going to go forever. This is going to take so long. Like literally every room is just mountains and mountains of boxes and stuff and <gasps> So I'm currently in the process of unpacking everything in the kitchen, which to me is the most important part. So me and Tanika are going to go through that and like brainstorm before we put everything away. So I'm going to be here for the rest of the day, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed this series. I can't wait to show you the actual home house reveal. I think I'm going to do a full walkthrough of the house before we get all our furniture because it's going to be literally until like December. So stay tuned. I'm going to do a full walkthrough when everything's kind of done construction wise and then I'll do another finished home tour when we've got all of our furniture but make sure you give this video a thumbs up a like if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell like click the icon because the whole algorithm on YouTube has changed so sometimes you're not gonna see my videos in your pop-up subscription thing so you need to make sure you tick the notification bell to get notified every time I upload I need to get back to work so I'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>